Hey, hey, stop struggling. You're still bleeding. You should have told me you were anemic. I had no idea. Did you even know? Well, now we both know. We'll, we'll just shelf the knife for a while. Is there any other medical stuff I should know about? Uh, soap is in front of you, a little bit to your right. Can you hand it to me? Uh, um, never mind, never mind. I'll, I'll grab it. Just stay put. He might slip. Hmm. Has charcoal in it. Is that bad in open wounds? Uh. Hmm. I think it's probably fine. Might sting though. Stay facing the shower head like you are right now. You're you're gonna get shampoo in your eyes. I'll take care of washing you. Just just relax. I'm the one who uh, bloodied you up after all. It's the the least I can do. Hey, why are you so tense? It's not like we haven't showered together before. Plus, you passing out kind of ruined my mood. <laughs> no offense, no offense at all. Uh, no, don't apologize, don't apologize. We can, we can try again tonight if you're feeling up to it. No hard feelings. Making sure you're not bleeding out on the sheets again should be most important. Can't really take you into a hospital without a whole... case opening up against me. So, preventing anything that bad is really important for now. I mean, can you imagine? Hey, uh, I'm a fucking assassin, yeah. Uh, actually, no, not just an assassin, I'm a hitman. Hired killer, yeah, this was one of my victims. Uh, I fucked him up too bad, though, obviously. Can you stitch him back together again? Ugh. No, I can't imagine. <laughs> Alright. You should be all clean now, you're not... Nearly as bloody as you were before, at least. <laughs> Quit whining, I'll get you a towel. Let's get you dried off. Raise your arms up. Slowly, I don't want you to pull any of your stitches apart. Can you stand? Here, uh... Put your arm around me, I'll... I'll hold you up. Three, two, one... Oh, I'm sorry for laughing. That's that's a no then. That's a no then. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Relearning how to walk is going to be a bit of a process. I already turned the house's heat up, so you shouldn't be too cold. Come on, let's walk to the living room. I will hold your arms. We'll just take it one step at a time, okay? Your eyes aren't really functional anymore, so I will be your eyes. Just listen to me and let me guide you, okay? All right. Just like that. You're doing good, come on, come on. Yeah, it's warmer in here, isn't it? I kept the fireplace on, so it shouldn't be too cold. C clothes? You want cl No, no, you're fine how you are. I, I don't... Just forget your clothes. Forget your clothes. It's Valentine's Day. Uh, don't mean to be like that, but I prefer seeing you like this. And plus, you're not looking at yourself, right? What difference would clothes make? You're, you're nice and warm as you are. All natural. If you wore clothes, you'd, you'd get, you'd get too hot, so. <laughs> Anyways, our sofa is right there, just, you're good to lie back. Good, good. <laughs> you look adorable. It's a shame I have to ruin that look with a collar. But. Actually, how about we keep the collar off for tonight? 
I haven't had to shock you in months or really use it at all, now that I think about it. I'd rather spend just one night with you, completely natural like you are. Perfect. You're so cute, do eyes. <sighs> All right, let's just relax for tonight, okay? What's a good movie? I think we've watched everything I have that has, uh, you know, like supplemental audio. But it is only noon. Why don't we, um, why don't we just sleep for a bit? You can let that anemic drowsiness wear off or whatever. You look like you're about to pass out anyways. I think I definitely took it too far, too fast. When you wake up, we can go back to having a bit of... A bit of fun. Why not, whenever you wake up, you can handle the blade. I'd really love to see what you do to me. We can... We can match or something. Whatever you want. That sound good? Good. <laughs> Give me a little spoon. <laughs> I'm glad we have... I'm glad we have this sort of relationship now. For the longest time, I was worried that we'd never... get along. I think I like you being reliant on me, though. It's just part of me regrets everything that I had to do, like... What I had to do to your eyes and, you know, your feet. But... But, in the end... I have to say, you look as adorable as the first day I saw you with those little fawn eyes. I think they suit you well. <laughs> Maybe I'll see if I can give you a little tail too. How about that, little deer tail? Wonder if it'd shake like a puppy if you got excited. Hmm. That actually sounds like a really cute idea. What do you think? I bet Riley could help. Maybe Valerie. Valerie kind of fucked up your feet badly, though. I don't really know how I feel about them working on your fucking tailbone. I don't want you to be completely unable to function or whatever, but you know what? It's too late. It's, we're too tired for this. We're, I don't want you to be completely unable to function. We can talk to them later about it, okay? I do think that would be a cute Valentine's project, though. For now, let's just lie down. We'll just have a nice relaxing evening, okay? We'll just take a nap and let that dizziness of yours wear off. And when we wake up... I'll make sure you have the best Valentine you could ask for. We can have a nice dinner, maybe get some big coats on and enjoy the winter air. Who knows? Just get some sleep. I'll be right here next to you. You're not going anywhere. Where are you? Do 
otherwise. What are you doing? I, I, I can't, I can't take my eyes off of you for a second, I swear to fucking God. What are you doing out here? Answer me now. Oh, don't you dare start crying. It's a little bit late for that. Not even an hour ago, I was gushing to you about how far our relationship has gotten. And, and you, again, again, you try and do this. You were trying to get away from me, again. Every single instance that you have a chance to get away, every single time, you fucking take it. Did you even realize how vulnerable you are right now? You're blind, you can't walk, your vocal cords are clipped, there's a foot of fucking snow out here, and you're naked and helpless, and you're still... You're still dripping blood everywhere. Are you just trying to get yourself killed? Is that it? You want to die so fucking badly? If I... You wouldn't be out here for a goddamn hour before some wild-ass dog saw an opportunity for an easy meal. Do you even realize that? And you would be completely fucking defenseless. You are absolutely shivering. Hell, I'm cold and I'm wearing winter clothes. You must be fucking miserable out here. Do you regret it? You'd really rather freeze to death out here than enjoy one single nice warm valentines with me, huh? No. No! That's literally what you just tried to do, you stu- <clears throat> Fine. Fine. Let's do this then. You want to get rid of me so fucking badly after I spent so much time fixing you? God, you can dream. You can sure fucking dream. Apparently, I haven't done enough. But what else can I do to you? What else can I... What else can I do to you? C cut off your fucking limbs? Should I make you deaf too? Actually... Honestly, that doesn't sound half bad. You just being a torso in the head. <laughs> I... Oh... Hell, why the fuck not? Let's go. Oh, you asked for this. You asked for this. Don't you dare fight back now. Quit your fucking whining. There's the goddamn soul. Oh, now you're sorry. Now that you're bleeding all over the floor and shivering because you- God, just fuck you! You ungrateful little bitch, shut your fucking mouth. Uh, here. <laughs> I love you, you know that? Every part of you, every square inch of your fucking skin, I love every bit of it. And that's the only reason why I haven't killed you or fucked you over completely yet. That's the only reason. You're cute, but god damn, you drive me fucking insane. I think that... I think that you being completely unable to get away from me, as well as being completely helpless is the best Valentine's gift I could ask for. That sense of security sure would be nice. And I think I'm gonna take it. Happy Valentine's Day, Doe Eyes.